Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. So today I'm back with my Saber Wars 2 gameplay. This is video number 3 of my gameplay video and we are going to resume from the place where we stopped. Now here's one thing. Uh, I, I completed the bounty quests. I think there were like 4 or 5 bounty quests. I completed all of them and I was able to find a goddess scripture within that so i've not played that i'm going to play it now and then i'm going to resume my normal main uh, main gameplay story section so this is goddess scripture 2 defining ancient goddesses let's see there you go tokyo means back <laughs> all right we are back for some more lessons and yeah, let's see. Goddess scriptures confirmed. Beginning lesson now. Oh damn. There were a few different civilizations that flourished back in the origin universe and the most powerful of them was the goddess civilization. All right. This ancient civilization did not consider the world goddesses to refer to a position or an individual life form. Oh. For them, the word goddesses referred to areas where humans could survive and thrive. Okay. Back in your universe, you have something known as the mother goddess, right? As I understand it, the male gods <coughs> ensured humans would have war and prosperity, while the mother goddess promised them existence and dominance. Many of the mother goddesses symbols are said to be castles, fortresses, and crowns. Okay, things one would expect one's protector of livelihood to have. Yeah, castles, fortresses, and crowns. Similarly, the goddesses of origin universe were originally no more than concepts. The religious respect people had for the zone that enabled them to survive. Oh. Oh, so, okay, Tokyo is saying, basically saying that, for example, Mother Earth. You know, it, it, it's a zone where people are able to survive. So it's like a goddess. You know, like, I think uh, they call Gaia, like, you know, Mother Earth. And stuff like this, different, like, you know, uh, concept, different zones, different places where, which helped them to live and survive. Those were, uh, like, you know, goddesses. Those were like the con concept of goddesses. It was not like an individual person or something. No. Interesting. Over time, these concepts gained personality and became true goddesses that took more direct approaches in the origin universe's affairs. Um, okay, so yeah, in a way it is like, you know, like kind of like, like some objects having so like, you know, I think like in Japanese, like there's a thing called Tsukumogami, where if you keep some like you keep using some objects for a long amount of time, they actually gain a soul and they become a Tsukumogami and it's, it's definitely not like that but kind of similar to that like you know like because uh here it is uh over time the concepts gained personality and became true goddesses that took more direct approaches in the origin universe affairs so it was basically because of uh like you know like worshipping them uh, like worshipping a concept and something it actually gave them a form and a personality that's why you can you know like the different gods like i guess like ishtar and all the different gods we know. Uh, who else? Because of Guato and Erskigal, all these, I guess. Those particular circumstances of their birth, so to speak, may explain why these both okay, uh, both why these goddesses were so incredibly powerful and why they were so hostile to outside civilizations. Okay. While beings like that would consider their own worshippers within their domains worthy of their full protection, yeah, outside the domain, they would also consider anyone who lived outside that domain to be no better than vermin. Even today, they say that the ancient goddesses would often fight amongst themselves and the loser would frequently be completely destroyed. But even among all these goddesses, there was one who was especially powerful. She regained supreme until the universe update. Oh. She was the last goddess to survive in the origin universe, the primordial goddess. Hmm. There is precious da little data about this goddess. My colleagues don't even think she existed at all. 
but I discovered a single record of an incident that took place 2000 years ago which proves otherwise. It's a passage of text from a document that the secret galactic police once tried to keep buried. The primordial goddess is real, she is about to awaken from a long slumber. Location Shining Blue Galaxy Frontier, coordinates, abandoned planet, A5, formerly Venus. Here we go. There you go. With the help of a new sponsor founding the expedition, I set out to visit the coordinates myself. I'm recording this lecture from them as I speak. This is all that remains of the old Venusian civilization, an ancient shrine where the goddess still sleeps. The place has been forbidden to be public, so almost nobody comes here. What is there left to find here? Why is, it, uh, why is the nearby space so red? Those are the mysteries I'm going to solve next. Wow. Okay, this is really interesting. This whole goddess scripture thing that, you know, like Tokyo means explaining. Like obviously, we know who the primordial goddess is. Like, you know, there's a lot of hints. Alright, Sargasso Abyss 1. Alright, let's see. Uh, hmm, we need a Lancer this time. Let's take Ereshkigal with us. Let's just switch this. There you go. Let's just switch this. Hmm. Alright. Ooh. Sargasso Abyss 1. Okay. Okay, we're navigating the Sargasso Abyss as we speak. Sure is a lot of debris around here. The ether so all over the place that it's impossible to actually plot our position. This place is generally called the Sargasso Abyss. Because trying to use autopilot here will only have you going in circles. Okay. Oh, there's a plus place on Earth called Sargasso too? Really? Wow, really? I guess people think the same way no matter what universe they live in. Oh, I also did not know that. Okay. Tell me more about your universe, master. Oh! How do people think about romance in your world? Are there a lot of couples that have big age gaps? I guess. Would you mind not flirting with master while I'm trying to navigate a deadly asteroid belt, Jen? Besides, I'm counting on you to take cover over in an hour, so I need you well rested. Okay, man, you're no fun sometimes, Istarin. You do realize that if we get stranded here, we're all dead, right? Good point, I've heard rumors about this place on my journeys. True to its name, they say it's bottomless abyss where stars go to die, but on the flip side, they also say it's a great place to meditate. Oh, since nobody else can contact you here. I don't know who came... <coughs> first came up with this, but I've heard it is described as surprisingly addictive snack bar at the ass end of the universe. What? <laughs> I doubt we'll be getting any drinks or snacks here, but I guess the black holes do make it bottomless. <laughs> that said, I can at least tell where the black holes are, so we should be fine as long as we give them a wide- Oh my god, something's going to happen. Oh. I heard the tummy growl is saying, did you go on a diet without telling me? No, I just ended up skipping lunch. Who do you think's been steering the ship while you were all taking a nap? Master, if you've got time to hang out with Jane, then you've got time to get me a protein bar. <laughs> oh. There should be still a fancy strawberry one on Space G Gadiva that I've been saving. Uh oh, I just polished that one. Oh my god, of myself. What am I going to do now? <laughs> Boy, you're getting overtime, Jane. Alright, on a completely unrelated note, if anyone, anyone at all, dares to take the special snack I've been saving, I will murder them. <laughs> but then, that would never happen with us, right? You'd never do that to me, would you, Jane? Help me, you're my only hope. I can see Ishtarin's hand coming off the rudder and heading to her blaster as we speak. Okay. Hey, uh, since I don't have anything better to do, would I be okay if I cooked instead? Huh? 
Uh, sure, that's fine. I didn't know you could cook. <laughs> well, the only thing I can make is curry. <laughs> curry? You know how to make curry? Wow, so this is like a rare delicacy or something. Yeah. I I'm impressed. It's not like curry is the most delicious thing in the universe or anything, but I mean, I'd have seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Ishtar is sundre towards everything, even curry, so... If you don't mind cooking again, I wouldn't mind having curry for dinner too. I always thought curry only came in powder. Who knew Earth's curry was so spicy and sweet? Oh, yeah, like this is like a futuristic world. So I'm guessing everyone eats protein bars or some kind of, I don't know, like <laughs> capsules or something to, like, you know, elevate their, like to elevate their hunger or something. Like, I guess people don't even have proper meals because they don't, they don't have any time or something. It's easy to make, accommodate all sorts of ingredients and has enough pro punch to blast away any loneliness you might feel <laughs> eating on your own. <laughs> it's the perfect food for survival camping. Cosmic noodles are great and all but I'm calling it now. This marks the dawning of the age of curry. <laughs> Suffice to say I'm definitely having some the next time I'm on earth. <laughs> Thank you Kaldia cafeteria guy. <laughs> Oops. Warning, ah, uh, just a sec. Hostile entities approaching, they appear to be life forms in indigenous to the asteroid belt. Oh boy. Species confirmed they're wild space cats that have been driven berserk by uncontrolled release of pungent spices into their ship's atmospheres. Oh no, I wonder who, <laughs> why, like, you know, who, who did that? Really? Wait, hold up. I thought this talky thing was just a fancy PPS planetary positioning system. Everything it says is pre-recorded, right? Does this mean they accounted for this exact situation when they were making it? Maybe? Good point, even if its creators were perfectionists, this seems like it would be going overboard. Never mind that now, we have to get out of here and fend for off those cats. The flavor's too much of their innocent minds. <laughs> innocent minds. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I'm guessing the, um, the talkie is like an AI or something. No, like it's, it's gaining intelligence or something like that because you know as as, as Ista said like this is too specific to be pre-recorded like you know like space cats are excited because of curries oh my god here we go space cats i should have wondered huh let's go space cats Oh my god, they pack quite a punch. Let me just... Oh. Okay, uh, this... No, let's do this. this. Damn! All right. What the Aswathamont man? What? What? Aswathamont man. All right. Let's just get this over with, and uh, let's see. Uh, I should. This, this, and this. Ultimate Goddess Beam! Bye bye Aswat Aswat Montman Aswatha Montman 
私にかかればこんなものよまあマスターの指示が良かったっていうのもあるけどね<笑>This one has no battles, okay. That turned out to be a good post lunch workout, huh? That was just what I needed for to work off that curry. You said it. Apparently, servants in Master's universe never gain weight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But those of us in the servant verse aren't so lucky. Ever since those delicious sweet replacements for normal meals were invented, well, things have never been the same. Oh yeah, the infinity chocolate incident that resulted in half the spirit origins in the servant verse feeling famished all the time. I remember that. Okay. Oh well, that's got nothing to do with us. Here, Istarin, why don't I take over piloting for a while? Mm -hmm, that's nice. Fine by me, I'd better grab some shot eye too. Can I handle lookout duty or something? <laughs> he really is trying to help, isn't he? Hey Istain, don't get carried away and do something you might regret later, alright? <laughs> I appreciate that, Master, but no, it's alright. Between the black holes and the zones riddled with debris, there are a lot of dangerous places still to come. Yeah, we're going slower than usual, but we are still traveling nearly at the light speed, so I'm pretty sure it'd be too much for you to handle. She has a point. By the time you can see a black hole with your own eyes, it's already too late to escape it. Exactly, we very nearly got sucked in one ourselves before and trust me, it's no fun. Really? I don't remember that. When was this? Alright, oh, I forgot you were napping at that time. <laughs> What? Why would you not wake me up from that? Come on, Istan, you know, you're pretty much useless right after you wake up. <laughs> you can barely tell your right hand from your left until you've had your space coffee, let alone make life or death calls. Space coffee. Hmm. Ah, I'd like to argue with that, but... Right? Especially since you had to escape at full speed, so I used your gems to... Ah... Uh, oh boy, e Slipped out. Yes, what did you use my gems for? I fed them to the engine, which gave us right enough power to escape by the skin of our teeth. Oh yeah! You mean you've done that before? Hey, it's not my fault that Mana gets so peppy when you feel... <laughs> it's just like her, Mana. You know? Also loves James. I can't believe you. How could you? You! <laughs> of course, the downside is that Istan gets like, well, this. Oh yes, I'm well aware, yeah. How could I not notice this? Well, you'd just come off string of big jobs, so you were sleeping pretty soundly. And I'm guessing she has a lot of gems. That's why, you know, like, taking a little bit out of that, she doesn't even re <laughs> realize that. Not that, I mean, how could I fail to notice the loss of my gems? I count... Wait, what? I count them every night. Oh, never mind. Oh, that. Probably because you've still gotten a whole bunch of them and maybe half of them were still in toy. Okay, that's why. Remember how you were so thrilled about the new gems that we ended up sleeping on sacks of them? <laughs> Alright, then I guess I wouldn't have a chance to count them all yet. Sleeping on the gems was so glorious, so glorious, but not the least bit comfy. Yeah. What is that? Some kind of no pain, no gain health regimen? Nah, it's just something that's very <laughs> normal for Ishtar. Well, they are just rocks when you get right down to it. <laughs> Alright, speaking of rocks, what do you want to do with the high density debris zone we're coming up on? What do you mean? What do I want to do? Can we just go around it? Not that, I mean there's some kind of servant made building in there, oh. A building? Way out here in space sticks? Hmm, I'm kind of intrigued, but master is our first priority right now. So yeah, let's just ignore it and keep moving. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a date with sleeping pod. <laughs> oh boy. Why don't you take a nap too, master? I, it might help take the edge off. Don't mind if I do. Got it. By the time you wait to wake up, I'll have us free and clear of Sargasso. Oh boy, I can't wait for that. I'm sure after we're going to get us, you know, we're going to go to sleep and we wake up, 
uh, we'll see like you know like i don't know like probably we'll see someone standing in front of us pointing a gun at us or something like that <laughs> or maybe like you know we've been captured and we're all tied up or something i'm sure something like that is going to happen just wait oh boy here we go <laughs> okay welcome to the sleeping pod we we'll have your unconscious in three seconds or less that's convenient you can't choose from non oh <laughs> what <laughs> yo wait <laughs> you can also choose the mode of your sleep well, that's future, I guess. You can choose from non-REM mode, where you can enjoy pure sleep uninterrupted by dreams, or REM mode, where you can enjoy <laughs> all the dreams you like. Wow. Oh my god. Which would you pref prefer? I'd like REM. Very well. Now just lie back, close your eyes, and enjoy your sleep. Alright, let's see what dream... <laughs> what? I curse you, woof, I curse you, woof. I have no idea when I'll be called up that something or other man guy showed up for no reason. I keep waiting and waiting for my order to hurry up and get here. We feel I have long watched over servant kind, but now my toe beans feel like they're about to burst. On my fur, you will not leave here alive. Take this, cat curse. Oh my god, is this the mama? Now you will be doomed to wander the Stargasso abyss forever and ever, woof. Damn, that was a bad dream. Good morning, your selected sleep time has elapsed and it is time to awaken. Let's see what is happening now. If you wish to sleep some more, please disable the timer. What an awful dream, yeah. Morning, Starshine. Well, are we out of the Star Gasso Abyss yet? Oh my god, let's see what happened. Um, not quite exactly. What do you mean, not exactly? And why are we still in the debris field? It's been two hours. I know, but we just keep going in circles for some reason. Oh my god, the, the curse. <laughs> you know, you're going to like, you know, keep wandering in this place forever or something, she said. No matter what we try, we always end up back at the debris. And now we're also running dangerously low on Altrium. If we don't find a way out of here... What? We will have no choice but to call Triple S. Triple S, Servant for Spaceship Syndicate. Oh. What? Are you nuts? Don't you know how much they charge? <laughs> and if worse comes to worse, they could even end up taking Master as collateral. Yeah. Is this the cat curse? Yeah. Do you know something? If you got a thought here, don't keep it to yourself. Well. You know, I had this weird dream where Tamamo cursed me. No way, a cat curse? Well, that explains it. Yes, it all makes sense now. They say that the cat curses last for seven generations after all. Oh yeah, there is something like that, I think. Even so, for a curse to be this powerful, something, someone would have to be casting it even as we speak. Oh great. And if I had to guess where they are, I'd bet my bottom space dollar that they're in the debris field. Alright, I guess we'll have to make an emergency landing there. Yep. But listen, the moment we find whoever's messing with my ship, I'm taking them out myself. Honestly, I still have my doubts about this whole cat curse thing, but never mind that now. Since this was your harebrained idea, you're going to help me find out what's really going on. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay, there you go, Berserker. So we will meet Tawamu. Let's get, keep Ershkigal with us. All I see so far is a wasteland with a bunch of old crumbling buildings, but that's just part of the course in the servant verse. Hmm, this area seems like a debris field and more like a ruined planet to me. In a sense, it kind of feels like we've come across an ancient shrine of sorts. Who knows, this could actually be a major discovery, Stein. Maybe, I doubt even the space nomads came out here often at all. If father would say he'd probably be heading, heading out to poke at these ruins uh, with his cane as we speak. <laughs> oh boy. Totally, I can't think of anything. There you go, Tokyomi loved more than ancient ruins. Obviously, like, her dad is Tokyomi. Especially since that's how he ended up tracking down the primordial goddess. Okay. The primordial goddess? I don't think I've heard of her before. It's an ancient legend father used to study. Not that anyone else in his circles believed in it. 
What was he researching? My father was an archaeologist who specialized in the Great Universe Update. Okay. His field of study included investigating what our universe was like before its current ether-based incarnation. And the primordial goddess is a legend that he discovered in the course of his research. Apparently, she is the oldest deity from the Servantverse mythology, like over 5 billion years old, my god. 5 billion years? No wonder nobody today has heard about her then. I don't know how much about what this goddess was like either, she's so ancient that she barely even mentioned in these myths now. And since the names of gods had become too powerful to take on power in their own right, her name wasn't even really passed down. Oh. Hmm, I wonder if this is the same goddess the space nomads were talking about. They never actually said her name either. Oh yeah, now that you mention it, the primordial goddess was supposedly incredibly fond of beautiful planets. Okay. Yeah, Jane used to be father's sort of unofficial assistant. Oh, so actually she knows a good bit about this legend than I do. Alright. He never really told me much about his research for some reason. Uh, really you helped Space Easter's father with his research? Yep, though it was all part of my Space Scout duty, so it was mostly pathfinding and logistics and stuff. Okay. Pretty much none of the ruins the professor wanted to investigate had been mapped out, so even getting to them in the first place was quite a challenge. You know, I always wondered about that. If nobody had ever been to these places, how do, yeah, how did you guys even know there were ruins there? True. Oh, that was all Tokiomi. He managed to work out the general coordinates for a search area by analyzing legends oh, and ancient writings from all around the servant first. After that, my job was boiled down to finding a very way to get there. Oh, and to carry the equipment. Um, I don't really know anything more. Deciphering, uh, deciphering ancient writing and stuff is way beyond me. That said, there were always something distinctive about ruins connected to the primordial goddess, so I did learn to tell those apart. And these are different. I bet no wonder how you slice it, this place is obviously just another abandoned modern day city. I can see why stray cats might end up living here. <laughs> okay, there she is. Right you are, my homo sapiens friend. This area was never part of demonic primordial goddesses territory. No, this is the holy hangout space of uh, space cats everywhere. Gate, great cats garden. Woof. I recognize that ridiculous conversational tempo, so you're the cat that put this curse on us? Oh ha ha, come on comrade, you'll make me blush, I gotta say, us cats are very accustomed to not getting along with people when we meet. <laughs> but that doesn't change the fact that I'm mad as hell, and I'm not gonna take it anyway. Nobody's pulling the fur over my eyes anymore, no servant tea, Bob. You're all doomed to wander this place until you starve now, but don't you worry, I'll send your ba body back via home via Sub-Zero Mail. Took the words right off my mouth. Feel his naked apronis. <laughs> naked ap Wow. Oh my god. She used a scientific. Oh, great. <laughs> Feel his naked apronis. God. Oh. We don't have time for your stupid crap, so you're gonna undo that curse now. Like it or not. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> okay. Fatal battle. Felis naked Apronis. <laughs> Schrodinger's cat. Oh my god, invincible. What the? What is this? No sure. What? Wait, what am I supposed to do then? Am I supposed to just stall? I think so. Let's see. I think I'm supposed to stall or something. Let's see. Let's just put on the invincible on her. Oh, 
My God. Okay, I think I'm supposed to stall here because There you go. Yeah, I was supposed to stall. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what's going on? Why the hell can't we catch her? <laughs> Wait, hang on. This isn't one of those she was a ghost all along things, is it? It's not that our attacks don't resist her with her. It, I think she's in a constant state of quantum uncertainty. That prevents us from her Oh boy, shredding us cat. Okay. Alright, makes sense. <laughs> That's why she's invincible? Yeah. <laughs> Do you see what you're up against, servant toys? This this is what you spent uh, this is what spending too long in Sargasso can do to you. Seriously though, this is totally vengeful cat ghost power I got from being cast away and forgotten in the crushing depths of a back. <laughs> Anyway, if you think the idea of wandering this place for an eternity is just too cruel for school, I could always give you a mercy flus. Oh, and don't bother asking me why I was tossed into the black hole, that's none of your beeswax. <laughs> Damn it, there's no way you can beat someone who won't listen to violence or reason. <laughs> Let's fall back for now. Perfect. I knew we could get on the same page, blue girl. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll take a cat nap after using my noble phantasm and now I'm feeling the need. First sleep. Come back another time if you ever want to die horribly. This is this cat's always hungry and lonely, so I'll take anything I can eat. Woof. Can't believe she really did turn out to be some kind of ghost. What is happening anymore? This is death by starvation. I mean, if my bullets can't hit her, I'm pretty much out of ideas. Now I wish I'd taken the threat of this Sargasso place more seriously. I had no idea there were strange servants like that out here. Detecting reduction in morale, suggestion, perhaps a good meal would lift your spirits. No, I don't think so. It's not like you guys to be so down in the dumps. What do you expect? She literally dodged everything we threw at her. What about you? Are you really telling me Ghost Cat didn't throw you off your game at all? What do you have some idea about how to fight her or something? Actually, yes. You do? What idea? Hmm, that does make sense. Maybe it could do something about her weird quantum state too. I'm totally on board with Master's plan. It sounds like a blast. Oh, wait, how are you gonna lure that kayak cat out in the first place when she wouldn't listen to anything we had to say? I don't maybe use a ball of yarn or something? Hmm, I might have an idea. Remember the saber badges those cats <laughs> we fought in the asteroid wells dropped? If they're interested enough in those badges to collect them, maybe we can use them to lure this cat out. Yeah. I get it, so you want to leave a trail of saber badges to lead her to the jaws of our trap, right? Well, it's not like you have anything other ideas, let's give it a shot. Then it's saber badge hunting time, you can't even, we can't even collect more altrium while we're at it. Alright, let's start collecting badges right now so we can get Operation Cat Trap underway. Okay, wow. Okay, I'm guessing this will be like a, like a collection thing we have to do again. Let's see, do I have... Mission number 64. Have I? Well, I don't know. 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 I 
No, I don't think I've completed it. Just a sec. 64. Uh, 64. Five uh, servants with luck A or higher. Luck A or higher. Which? Just a sec. I'm guessing this one will have it. Let me just quickly complete this, you know, because I do want to continue. I, yeah. Yeah, let me just quickly complete this. I think this, this, this uh, node will probably have that. Just a sec, this will be like a quick little farming thing and I'll be back. ビスクリ。Okay guys, I've completed it and yeah, that was a short little farming session I did and I just did it to complete it and so that I can continue for now. There you go, let's see. Alright, uh, here it is, Sargasso Abyss 2. 
and let's see who should I choose uh, there you go wow everyone has completed it and since I'm recording it I'm not you know I'm, I'm kind of a little bit slow oh boy Okay, all right, let's get the operation started. Okay, first lure in cat. Make her fall on a trap and okay. Hmm, still no sign of them ordering anything, I guess so. Uh, thought these guys might be different, but I guess they're just as gutless as the rest. Too bad for them that my cursed cat's, uh, cat curse is only going to pick up more for um, steam then. I knew I should have grabbed that lawnmower when I had the chance. Wait, what's this? Is that straight line of pleasingly evenly spaced paper badges I see sparkling on the ground? I can't help but think they were placed here to, with some ulterior motive in mind, but no sense in leaving them just lying around. Besides, it's a lovely day for a walk. Woof. <laughs> God. Wow. Oh ho, what is this one? No sooner do I come at the end of the badges that I see a lunch place on the ground as well. A glittering white plate of shiny rice topped with some kind of scrumptious sauce. Hmm. Oh yes, I know what this is. It's curry roofs. Or I'm not a cat. Do they really think a little lunch like this is enough to stop me in my tracks? Why, that's so downright insulting. Yeah, let me just grab that, you know. That said, I've never been one to turn down a free meal, and I'm sure not able to start now. Haha, <laughs> hope you left the onions out, suck. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe they really put the onions in, because you know, onions are, I think, poisonous for cats or something? Yeah. Mmm. Mm? Mm. It's delicable depth of flavor. It's sweet and spicy and at once goes down easily, and it's got all the carrots I could ask for. Carrots. <laughs> this is no ordinary curry. Why, this flavor cuts to the very truth of the universe. Yes, this is the universe roofs. I shall call it Universe roofs. Woof. Wow, a new, a new <laughs> recipe. Report, cat's quantum and uncertainty has been resolved now that she has consumed food from this. Good, all right, there you go. Now's the chance. Okay, guns, all let, uh, guys, all let's hit her with everything we've got, but we just got to teach her a lesson. All right. Let's <clears throat> boy. Okay. Go 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 All right, let's get this over with quickly. Damn her voice with the new with the new skin. Does her her voice also changes? It's like an echoing thing is going on. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh. Okay, uh, just, just, just. Yeah, you, you see that, that, that echo kind of thing? Damn, I like that. If everyone's going to be able to get this skin, that's nice. Lagging. Oh, I could have easily ended this. I didn't even. I wouldn't even need an end. 
これくらいのことはしないとね自分の違いを知りなさいいけおびんしぐらくえさ There you go. We got the cat. Well, the master's suggestion was good, but it's okay. Oh, 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 of course I did. Though not well, I just remember that was the name of a gentleman who happened to pass through here. Oh, okay. I also remember him trolling around a real fancy pants cane and telling me, <laughs> I have a hunch that my daughter will come here one day. If and when she does, I would like to tell her this for me. These ruins were a bust. Try your like some, uh, luck somewhere else. But don't lose hope. This is the way of things for an archaeologist. Oh, and he also told me, I only wish to I could do something to help you pass on the next world. That may be beyond my ability now, but I promise I will learn how and return one day. Just a sec. To the next world. Okay, to the other universe. When that day comes, I will prepare the tastiest meal you have had to starve. Stave off your loneliness. Oh my god. You had to stave off your loneliness. In the meantime, I hope you can wait here secure in the knowledge that I will return. And that's all he wrote. Uh, said. Oh no, she's going. Cat, are you starting to disappear? Yeah, yep. Well, thanks to the delicious lunch I had. Wait, so she really was like a ghost type of thing, a quantum, uh, you know, like an uh, uh, unstable entity. I'm guessing you can say since her, uh, what do you call it? Her existence has been confirmed, like in Schrodinger's cat. No, like now that it's confirmed like she's going away now all this time she was like in the middle of the you know like the existence and that's why she was hovering around like a ghost you know like as long as the box is closed two possibilities exist if the cat is alive or dead both the possibilities exist at the same time once the box is opened one of the possibilities remain and i guess the box was opened when she consumed the curry and now you know her, her entity has been confirmed and she is going to go away now but technically, the cat inside the box was dead, I guess. Ah, I'm so happy that meal I've been waiting for an eternity for has finally come. My 5 billion years of being hung- 5 billion? Hangry finally comes to an end. Thanks, professor, and thanks to the for the curry master. Now that I don't have anyone to curse or any reason to curse them, consider the debt you can cut for beating up all those cats paid in full. Okay. Well, smell you later, young and innocent goddesses of Venus. Make sure to play nice with the humans this time. <laughs> Just talking about this stuff. <clears throat> uh, you know, I think I've heard about this. One of the stories I heard working with Tokiomi was about a group of cats who got left behind on some planet when the origin universe disappeared. Oh my god. Damn. It's said that the, all those humans from that planet managed to escape on spaceships, but also all that cats went extinct because they were too busy napping to catch the flight. What type of a messed up weird situation is that? This must be what remains of the planet where that happened. Okay. Oh, cat, I can't believe you had such a tragic backstory. Maybe you and I were more alike than I thought. Goddess of Venus, play nice with the humans this time? Yeah, she's talking about her. Like, we can like guess that her and the stars are kind of the same. Oh, why does my chest feel so hot? It feels like I've forgotten something important. Oh well, we can worry about the details later. Right now, the important things that we can keep going. Should we get back to the space and start making up for lost time, Mr. In? Oh, yeah, sure. But uh, just give me a sec. There's no harm in making a little grave for her before we go, right? This would never have happened if father hadn't gone around making promises he couldn't keep, so the least I could do is pick up his slack. <laughs> yeah, I'll moan her with you. Alright. Okay, terminal lane. Alright. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Let's take Gilgamesh with me. All right, let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Munenori, let's hear it. Why do I still have not have my catalyst? Does this mean my space Shinkakeru's font uh, six plates are not that they're cracked up to be? Forgive me, Lady Ashtar. I have no excuse. Even in my wildest dreams. <laughs> I would never have guessed that the Earthling would hire bounty hunters that were capable of defeating Anastasia. Time to start dreaming wilder dreams, damn it. <laughs> oh my god. I think that's enough. Kicking your shins for the mo Oh my god, she was kicking her sh his shins. Now then, tell me where the catalyst is now. Surely you know at least that much, right? While I'm afraid we lost track of his whereabouts, after he left Anastasia's planet, it is very unlikely that he has got gone into hiding. If he had, he, we would surely have received eyewitness reports from one of the nearby planets. So, I suspect he's on the move. At first, we thought he might be taking short of a ghost lane's bounty hunters usually prefer. But of course, our space Shinkagetis controls all such routes, so that fact, uh, the fact that we st still have not located the catalyst can only mean one thing. He must be making his way through an, an area which is impossible to navigate on autopilot. For example, this asteroid belt all the local space nomads generally avoid. Damn, he nailed it. What? That area is really danger- My lady? Never mind. It hasn't been that long since I abducted the catalyst and brought him here. I can't imagine he would choose such a dangerous route of this, his own accord. Well, we went to a lot more dangerous stuff, you know? The singularities and the lost wills. I bet it was the bounty hunters he hired who came up with that one, jerks. Mm. What would you have us do, my lady? Shall I put up a dragnet around the terminal line? That area is part of the darkened so sword's territory, right? Contact him. But this time don't bother telling him to capture the catalyst. He should focus on the bounty hunters. I see. Indeed, once the bounty hunters are out of the picture, the catalyst will be easy pickings. Being an utter mad dog, even among the six blades, the Darkened Sword should be perfect for the job. I wonder who that is. Darkened Sword. <clears throat> and that is why I must ask. Slim through the odds are what will you do if he kills the catalyst? I will cut his head off myself in the most gruesome and excruciating way Servantkind has ever known. Assuming the guy still has two brain cells to rub together, tell him not to kill the catalyst. Oh, and send one of our latest observation drones along to him, to keep watch just in case. Cunningly thorough as always, Lady Ashtar. Consider it done. Yes, we made it out of the debris field and the black hole danger zone. Phew, I say we are well and are truly out of the space woods. Great work all around, guys. <laughs> I didn't know you can make a spaceship drift. That was some fancy piloting. I might have to borrow those moves the next time I'm in a race. <laughs> right? I knew Mana and Istan were in perfect sync. Ah, oh, stop. Don't actually... Uh, actually don't. Keep it coming. Anyway, that ought to make up for the time we lost. Now, as long as we are nothing... Oh uh, boy. Nothing else gets in our... Yeah, and she jinxed it. <clears throat> and there's the other shoe dropping. I knew it couldn't be long. Jane! We've got a single passenger craft approaching us rapidly from directly ahead. It hasn't shown any signs of aggression yet, but... Hey, boy. What was that about signs of aggression? The blast just grazed our shields. Huh? But they're not even locked onto us. I can't imagine they could actually hit us like that. So whoever they are, they're just firing wildly, huh? Though they sure are coming fast and furious. We should have visual on them pretty soon. Huh? The hell? Is that a space knight? Who? Oh, it's Lancelot. Okay, yeah. Raw. <laughs> now he's coming right on our tail. He's been running into debris left and right, but he's just shrugging it off. Wait, why did they make like you know like they assign Lancelot this? Because <laughs> Astart said that yeah, like you should not like you know like Master should not get killed, but. I doubt Lancelot would listen to that. I've never seen anything like this guy, not from Space Shinkageru or a Space Pirates. What do you guys make of him? 
I think we'll have even less luck trying to reason with him than we will did with Cat, yeah. Same here, then our only choice is to fight him off. Uh, don't just turn, uh, don't turn just yet, now he's pulled up alongside us. Raw. <laughs> ah, damn it, he boarded us. And he's wasting no time. Oh, oh. Raw. <laughs> He's banging away at our hull with a steel pipe like the man is some giant space drum. <laughs> it's just like something my idiot cousin would put. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Does he really not realize he's attacking the very ship he's standing on? Wait, um... Okay, never mind. We'll just have to stop him before he can do any more damage. Come on, let's go fight him up top. Oh boy. Hmm. All right. Unsure. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, that was Gilgamesh. I was thinking, where is Gilgamesh's voice is coming? I, I was like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I got a little bit confused at that moment. I thought <laughs> the one wearing the armor was actually Gilgamesh. And then I realized, oh no, my support servant is Gilgamesh. So it was him. I got confused a little bit. Oh boy. The HP lost God. Boy! <laughs> oh! Yo! <laughs> the damage! <laughs> God! Oh my god, my... <laughs> my space is almost dead. <laughs> Let's just use the uh, invincible on her. And let's do this. Okay, this should be, should be fun. Let's see. My god. Okay, no crit. Alright, enough playing around. <laughs> okay, a lot of <laughs> a lot of missions unlocked. God. God. <laughs> there we knocked him off the hull. All right, Jane, get us out of here now. Full throttle. You got it. Rah! He's firing at us again. So he still hadn't had enough? Uh, I wish he'd just give up already. What was that? Are we hit? No, we are okay. The shields took it, but there's another volley coming. Great. Ah, oh, seriously, would it kill him just to give it a rest? Oh, for I can't take this anymore. I'm going out there to give him a piece of my mind. Oh, the rest of us, you stay here, please. I'd also really appreciate if you let us talk in private. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ra, ra. <laughs> Don't you ra me? What do you think you're doing here, Lancelot? There you go. My God, I forgot for a second that this is Lancelot. And it's art. Oh my God. When I heard you've been thrown into space after you lost a duel with X, I never expected to find you acting like a thug out here in the boonies. Don't you have a home and family to go? 
<laughs> Back to you, deadbeat. <laughs> Arthur? I mean, um, I'm sorry you have the wrong man. I'm sure I have no idea who this knight of the lake could be. Handsome as you sound. <laughs> what the hell? I'm but a humble knight of darkness who was recruited by the space Shinka Geru after they found me wandering the galaxy with no memories. Oh, of course, I have never met you in my life. Ha ha ha, that should work, right? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd better take my leave. I have a family to get back home to and a son who's at difficult stage in his life, so... <laughs> oh boy. Good, get out of here. I swear, what's the round table come to this de these days? <laughs> hey, he's heading off in that direction. We lost him. Great. Another win. Does this mean we're clear? Ah, glad that's over with. You okay, master? I have to admit, that was quite a close one even for me. I've never sensed anything quite like that Black Knight's bloodlust. I'm back. Don't worry, the good for nothing shouldn't give us any more trouble. Mm -hmm. Is it just me or are we standing, starting to slow down? Great. It's not, uh, it's not you. Got us good with the last shot. Wow, he did what he had to do and just went away. Now, our engines are all out of commission. Great. What? What did you say? Okay, now we're going to crash, I think. Some kind of planet. Okay, eco mode drive in. Okay, let's do this. Okay, after this, I'll I'll take a little break. Eco mode drive in. <laughs> I wonder how they'll react. Oh no, they they see. Oh yeah, they had the thing with them. That's all the footage the drone sent us. We haven't heard back from Dark Lord Dark and Sword since. Tell me, Munenori, what did I just see? <laughs> Munenori? Yeah, like, oh my god, she saw it. Oh, great. <clears throat> what have I said about using a mask to hide when you have bad news to deliver? Forgive me, my lady. I was simply so ashamed of the Six Blades' admissive performance that I could not bear to show my face. No, I don't think that's what Rin's mentioning. I wasn't asking about the six blades, I was asking about that bounty hunter. Why does she look just like me? Hmm, is that how it seemed to you? I'm afraid these old eyes aren't what they used to be, so I can't say for... Don't give me that, you're my teacher, I know you can make out a quart of thousand paces. Now stop stalling and tell me already. My humble apologies, my lady. You have every right to be angry. I put this behind me long ago since it no longer has anything to do with you, but I suppose there is no harm in sharing it to pass the time. Very well then, this is the story. I think you will find it amusing. Okay, let's hear what it's about. And there you have it. What? We don't get to hear? Okay, maybe later on. Oh no, she's mad. Alright, that's enough dislikes for today, Minonari. I'm going to going to be taking a short leave of absence from my leadership duties. I see. May I ask why, my lady? Is there somewhere you wish to go? As if you need to ask, I'm going to dispose of her myself. God. Okay, start the engine output test. Oh boy. Oh boy. Warning, damage to main engine has reduced output by 30%. I cannot let you continue your voyage with the ship in this condition. I advise you to take a deep breath and proceed with repairs in a more orderly manner. Yes, that's that then. We can't just go full speed now or the engine's gonna fall apart. Uh, the night guy just had to hit our engine. Guess we gotta find out a dry dock then. Okay, I'll do a quick search for the nearest spaceport. Whoa, taking the solar system's orbital positioning into account. It looks like the garage at your ho house might actually be the closest one to us, Easter. Oh, this is her house? My house? Really? <laughs> you have a house? <laughs> well, obviously. What? What do you think? Servants just appear out of thin air or something? Of course I have a house. Not that anyone's living there right now, seeing how it's been 10 years since I ran away from home and all. <laughs> 10 years ago? How old are you again? Can't you tell? I'm 40. 
What? Wait, she ran away from house at 4? And she's 40? She doesn't look like 14. What? She looks like, I don't know, 18 or 20 or something. Someone stop aging when they are at the prime oh, of their lives, right? I left home when I was 14, so... Alright, okay, I understand. So, it's, okay, yeah, alright. So, she's 24 now, that means. I left home when I was 14, so there you go. I don't have any issue going back to her family home, Ishtar, but we are going to be able to make the repairs we need in our garage. Of course, I made Vana in that gar garage anyway. At any rate, Jane and I can handle the repair ourselves, so you two can wander around and sightsee in the meantime. How's that sound to you, master? Sounds great. Then it's settled. Jane, set a course for planet Zenzo, please. Zenzo? You got it. It should take us about an hour to get there without warping. Hey, can I ask you something? Uh, I guess I'd say because it suits me. <laughs> oh my god, the, both the dialogues were the same, I guess. <laughs> if you kind of does that, I've seen it. You know, like, either of the uh, options have the same answer. And it's not like I've got anyone waiting for me at home anymore, anyway. Oh, I guess Jane had something to do with it too. She's the one who told me a bounty hunter was the better than a cop, and she was sure I could hack it. <laughs> really? I don't remember saying that, mm, but it does sound like something I'd say. Seriously, you don't even remember? I was at the major crossroads back then, it was probably the single biggest decision of my life. <laughs> Sorry, but hey, at least everything worked out, right? It would have just made things worse if you stayed there wringing your hands. And besides, you really did turn out to have a gift in the hunt. If you didn't, you wouldn't still be alive after leaving school and changing your class so suddenly, right? Changing your class! Oh, maybe we're going to get to know why she's an Avenger. Oh, that reminds me, I've been meaning to ask you about this school. Why yes, I'm quite sure this won't mean much to you, Master. But I'll have you know, I once attended Planet Zenzo's exclusive Queen's Academy for Girls. Oh, Queen's Academy, yeah, the... I think, who told... Anastasia, yeah, Anastasia. Also said something about that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> the Ojo Sama laugh. Are you serious? You went to Queen's Ista? Wait, are we going to meet um, Luvia? I mean, um, uh, Asteria? That'll be kind of cool because obviously, like in, you know, like Asteria and Luvia, uh, Asteria and uh, uh, Ista and uh, Rin and Luvia, you know, they're connected. You've heard of it, X? You bet I have. It's the finest school for young ladies in the entire servant verse. You can't even get in unless your family is royalty or filthy rich. I used to wish I could go there myself. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but I'll give you that all the students at Queen's are young ladies of good upbringing. It might look pretty fancy and elegant from the outside, but honestly, I think by time they've prepared me perfectly for a life as a bounty hunter. What? Huh? What does Queen's have to do with bounty hunting? Uh. Fair point. Nothing really. I don't know why I said that. Queen's is an old and respectable institute after all. I'm sure there's something, <laughs> you know, like there is something going on. The reason why she said that. Anyway, we're going up to Tanzenzo now. Make sure you're all strapped in for the landing. Okay, I think I'll take a little break here. Let's see. There you go. We're, we're here in Planet Senso. Oops, Kaiju comment. You know what, let me just complete this and then I'll take a break. Because I, I doubt this will take long. And... You know what, let me just substitute Easter for Musashi for now. And let me just, yeah, just put this on. Venus Beast Ellie Jam. Okay. Ellie Jam. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Here we go. 
Ellie-chan is here. Alright, uh... I really love how uh, Spacey Star, like you know, in this form talks. It's like such a sweet, mellow voice, and it's really cute. Her voice, like the way she talks in her final ascension form, is so cute. Oh boy. There we go. What the? Wait, what is this? Oh, okay, I need to... Okay, I'll, I'll do the farming later on. But... Yeah, so... Queen's High School. The next one is Queen's High School. Okay, I'll take a little break here. I'll resume just after this. So, see you guys in the next part. Hello, guys, and welcome to a brand new video. So, today, I'm back with my Saber Wars gameplay. Let's get started with... Here we go. Um... So, we are at Queen's High School 1. And... I think this is something related to the school that uh, Anastasia was talking about and that Ishtar was also, also said that I also went to this school which is a school for uh, Ojo Samas so let's check this out what this is about all right so uh, should I choose let me just okay um, I should go with this yep I think that will be okay all right so here we go wait did i just do my intro oh yeah this is supposed to be a continuation isn't it <laughs> i forgot i thought this was like a new video <laughs> anyways like i like i like you know like take one day like you know one day or a few hours sometimes uh, a break and then start again so sometimes i forget that this is supposed to be a continuation of the video i thought this was like a <laughs> beginning of a new video or something i thought so <laughs> anyways all right um planet zenzo tosaka mansion oh so this is zenzo huh Looks like a great place to live. The people all seem to be really nice too. I doubt we'll have to worry about running into space Shinkageru here. Well, don't jinx it. Yep, almost every servant on Zenzo is either a caster or an archer after all. Oh. Okay. Anyway, I can handle bonus damage assessment on my own. So why don't you uh, all have some fun sightseeing in the meantime? Besides, I bet there is somewhere you took a dime to check out. Right, Master and X? Right, Queens, here we come. <laughs> Hell yes, I've always wanted to stay, see it my, for myself. Uh, you are both all starry-eyed about this, huh? Alright, fine. I suppose I can take you there while we are out and about relaxing anyway. The students might uh, be a little difficult, but the campus itself is very nice. All right. Uh, students are a bit difficult. Okay. Wait, what the? 
Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Isn't this supposed to be an Ojo Sama school? Goodness me, I can't believe there's still anyone in Queens who isn't a saber. Oh yes, this is so embarrassing. If we don't do something, the Dean's likely to scold us along with them. Hey, that's you, isn't it, Isha? How good to see you again after, what is it, 10 years you've been gone? Damn. Wait, how the hell do these people know Ishtar then? The 10 years is... Oh, I guess they're like, okay. Yeah, maybe they were like yeah, childhood friends or something. But I'm afraid there's no place for you in Queens anymore. Now you're going to pay for beating me in the Miss Pe uh, Queens <laughs> pageant preliminaries. What, what the? We just got here and we have students trying to attack us? What kind of school is this? Well, it's that just said, you know? <laughs> wow, alright. I was thinking I, we would meet, uh, you know, Luvia here. Mm. Or, yeah, I was thinking like, like the first person who actually comes to mind when we talk about Ojo Samas is Luvia Jerita Edelfeld. So, <laughs> alright. Alright, let's. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. I think this is the first time I'm using Calamity Jane because I've still not leveled my Calamity Jane up, so... Oh, this is an interesting skill. The third skill is quite interesting. Okay, the attack down is also handy. Damn, he just rolls and whoa! Hmm. Did these crits hit hard? All right, let's see. Uh, let's just. Let's... <laughs> Okay. Oh. <laughs> I love the way she attacks. What the hell? She just. Okay, let me use uh, Oh my god Let me use Jane's Noble Phantasm I think 
Yeah, this is my first time using it. Alright, let's see. Okay, she has sure hit. Bad luck. Whoa. Wow, that's a really good noble phantasm, I think. Yeah, it's it's uh, a quick single target archer. Okay, this this will come in handy, I think. Uh, obviously because like you know I have Skadi, so I can just you know increase her. <clears throat> Quick attack and yeah. Alright. Nice. Oh, alright. Man, you guys haven't changed a bit. It's just like coming home again. Well, you are home, so. Huh? Attending Queens was my dream back when I was a little girl growing up in the space boonies but this isn't what i thought i'd be it would be like at all well neither did i are you telling me this is normal around here it's not part of some weird festival or something <laughs> that's right queen's longest held tradition is might makes right you won't last two seconds here with stars in your eyes oh okay so i'd like hurry and get a hold of myself uh, yourself if i were you x they'll hunt you down in no time if they smell weakness <laughs> Who's they? The students, of course. <laughs> Great. Every girl who comes to Queens has grown up surrounded by power and authority. So what do you, what do you think happens when you gather every budding tyrant in the universe under one roof? <laughs> Anguish screams that makes hell sound like a nice summer getaway. You got it. These girls are always looking for something that they can use to give themselves a leg up. So watch yourselves. Okay? Yeah. All right. So basically, this is where rich families send daughters who have gotten too wild to control, huh? <laughs> okay. I guess that makes it kind of like a shelter for rich girls. Only in reverse. I, I'm glad I didn't have to worry about keeping up appearances like that. <laughs> okay. Now that you've seen the courtyard, let me show you what the schoolhouse is like. Let's see. Class 2A should be right up those stairs. Oh, okay. A tiger is here. Alright. Ah! Crap, Miss Jaguar. Oh, I thought you were a group of outsiders, but it looks like we have the second year Red Devil here too. Good day, Red Devil. Are you aware that you have a lot of unfinished work to hand in? Ma'am, yes ma'am. <laughs> yeah, she's actually... Wow. Damn, this, this, this world's um, Taiga Sensei is... Oh, damn. <laughs> At ease, student. You know, you're the only one who hasn't changed a bit since the good old days. Never forget your Haina instinct, even as you gracefully soar across the sky like a hawk. <laughs> you were the best student I ha ever had, not to mention the one who destroyed the most of school's facilities. Eyes welling up with proud tears, yeah. <laughs> Good old days. So tell me, what were you up to nowadays? It's been what, 10 years since you left the academy? Well, I've been um, contributing to society by apprehending bad actors and receiving appropriate compensation. Wow, she has a way with words, doesn't she? Oh my god, she... <laughs> Jaguar since he understood what she was trying to say. Ah, a bounty hunter. Excellent choice of words and kid. <laughs> no wonder you were a valedictorian. You embody our school's motto of strong, proper, beautiful, better than anyone. What? Valedictorian splash? Oh, splish. Okay. I was like, what is splash? Splish. Okay. <laughs> what? What do you think you're doing? Don't abbreviate my name like that, it's weird. Fish, oh my god, it's fish. <laughs> As I said, she was the best student I ever had. It was like she already had everything she needed. Okay. Good day, young lady cadets, and welcome to Queens. 
Now, listen up. You don't speak to me unless you preface it with ma'am, yes ma'am. Is that clear? Well, that's what Rin said when she came in the beginning. Ma'am, yes ma'am. You there, what's your name? Ma'am, yes ma'am. It's Ishtar ma'am. Oh, it's just like, yeah, it's like when she was a child. I mean, young. That's what I like to hear. Are you ex-military? You're not. Really? And you responded like that? Oh well. So, Ishtar, huh? that's a great name. Tell me, Carrot, are you a demon? <coughs> no, ma'am, I'm not. Translation, dope. <laughs> wow. Then are you a nightmare? No, ma'am, I'm not. <laughs> Translation, are you... <laughs> Do you have problem with anything I said? Not at all, ma'am. You're damn right, I do. <laughs> what the hell is with the translation? Perfect. The shield wildness is making me go downright giddy. Okay, everyone, I want you all to follow Ishtar's example. Don't take the rebellious speed stuff too far. Ishtar, from now on, I'm going to call you Red Devil. <laughs> it's a pretty good name, alright? Do you like it? Yes, ma'am, I think I'll go by that when I take a wrong turn and start leaving a path of destruction in my wake. <laughs> Excellent, I can feel the responsibility from the entire servant versus future resting on my shoulder. <laughs> alright, Red Devil. Drop and give me a thousand. I'm going to whip that evil nature of yours into shape. Damn, a thousand. That's quite a lot. Is this what all schools for proper ladies are like? Do you and the Blue Wrestlers Academy turf? Blue Wrestler. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder who that is. Oh. I was just saying that I, I guess Luvia was also here. That means, oh my god. Between you and the Blue Wrestlers Academy Turf War, and the way you both dominated the Cosmic Renaissance Intergalactic Martial Arts Dance Competition. <laughs> what the hell is that? You, <laughs> you two pretty much ruled this school. My god. Oh. Ah, those really were the good old days. Okay, I think uh, there's like a CE where there's uh, Astria or Luvia doing push-ups and uh, Jaguar Sensei is on top of her. So I guess that's like one of those, oh my god. Now I get it, you're always making these daring moves because you grew up following the school's motto. <laughs> so, where's Astria? There you go. Since we get to choose where we graduate ourselves, I'm guessing she's still here at the academy? I'm afraid not. Oh, wait, what? Blue wrestler left of her own accord too. After the new dean came and changed things, it was right after you left. New dean? New Dean? What changed exactly? I did notice those girls attacked us and had some pretty unpleasant things to say. For some reason everyone wants to change their class to Saber now. Oh. They even say anyone who's not a Saber can be a proper young lady. The students who objected to that trend were all taken away to summer school for special guidance and none of them have returned. So I guess Astria objected. I guess the summer will never end. Kind of romantic really. Ah, I don't think so. That's horrible. What about their parents? Did they freak out about this? Of course they did, but for some reason they never went public with their grievances and in time they were forgotten. Wow. Then the new dean started pressuring all the teachers from the old guard to retire. Now I'm the only one left who taught here when you attended. Damn, I wonder who that person is. All this silence has got everyone so suspicious of one another that you can cut the tension with a laser knife. At this point it feels like a cemetery than a school. Is there anything I can do, Miss Jaguar? Would you look into the new dean and his faculty for me? There's something inhuman about them. Alright, I don't have a lot of time to spare, but I'll do what I can. Come on guys, let's head back. Go to, good to see you again, Miss Jaguar. Good day, Red Devil. Be careful out there. Hey, hey, welcome back, guys. I'm all done uh, looking the barn now over. I'll be blunt, it looks like it's gonna take a long time to fix. Well, great timing, I guess. We can go and look at, try to find out information about the new Dean. Like, the engine's all shot to pieces, so we're gonna have to get a new one, right? Then we've gotta swap it with and hook it up with everything, right? And that's not even getting into the long overdue firmware updates, which are gonna take some time too. Damn. All told, I think it's gonna take me and Istarin at least four days to get it all done. Yeah, that works out pretty nicely. We actually ran into a little incident here ourselves. While we were visiting Queens. Hmm. 
Whoa, I had no idea all this was going on with your old school right now. It's gotta be either a kidnapping or servant trafficking, and on top of that, place Shingak uh, Shinkagiru is clearly involved. Right. I can't stand that they have somehow managed to sink their claws into this tea, into the servant first. Miss Jaguar didn't come out and say it, but it's safe bet that either the whole school is bucked or the faculty's got spies reporting to them. That's awful. Okay, so what's this new dean like? We don't know. I wish I could tell you, but I don't even know where to find him. Hell, I couldn't even tell you where his office was. I mean, I'm sure it's somewhere on the campus, but the moment we set foot there, fake servers are gonna be all over us. Hmm, sounds like this is where I come in. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, she's because she's an assassin. Yeah. I've been keeping this a secret so far, but stealth missions are actually... <laughs> That's no secret. Uh, my specialty. I already knew that, yeah. Same. Same. I see. Well, I'm glad you know all... Uh, you all are so understanding. Though, I have to say, I'm a little hurt. <laughs> oh well, I guess it just goes to show what good friends are. At any rate, I'm not going to sit back and twiddle my thumbs while your alma mater is in trouble, is that? Don't worry, I'll find out the dean's office for you. You two just focus on fighting up, uh, fixing up the mana in the meantime. Oh, and if you don't have anything else to do right now, Master, I'd be grateful for your assistance. If you could cause a distraction on the campus that gets everyone's attention, that would make my life a whole lot easier. Hear that, Jane? Looks like we're set then. Thanks, X. That'll be a big help. And thank you for helping her out with her investi investigation, Master. Now, Jane and I can focus fixing the barn up like new again. Wait, this guy will have to go himself and make a distraction? That seems a bit risky. Hmm. Oh. Mission 21. Wait, is this already unlocked? Yes, it has already unlocked. Nice. Okay, let me just unlock the other one. Alright. Queen's High School 2. Hmm. Hey, you there. Master, would you mind turning off the space stove inside the house, please? I do it myself, but I've really got my hands full right now. Good thing. <laughs> space stove. Hang on, did she say stove? <laughs> oh, there he is. I'm sorry, Star. I know this is supposed to be a happy day, but first, I must apologize. If you're watching this now, then I'm almost certainly dead. Oh boy. I know, I promised to reveal something spectacular to you on your 14th birthday, and I had been so excited to do so, but it seems I won't be able to make good on that promise anymore. Again, I'm sorry. Is this Space Star's father? I'm afraid I don't have a lot of time. It won't be. Long before he gets here. He gets here, okay. As I suspected, it seems he wasn't funding my research out of appreciation for the arts after all. So I want you to listen to me closely without getting off on wild fights of fancy that most teenagers fall prey to. Well, the truth is... What? I'm not your real father and you're no ordinary servant. I know, I told you you were a divine spirit servant, but you aren't. Wait, you may think you are a normal person, but you are actually a goddess, a real honest to goodness, goodness goddess. You're what, he coming, uh, you're, you're what he's coming for, Ishta. You are one half of a goddess divided into her good and evil sides. Oh, interesting. So is, is he talking about Munenori? 
So I want you to leave this planet, hide your name and live a good life. Good simple life. Oh, and one last thing. Happy 14th birthday, Rim. For your present, I am going to give something uh, you have always wanted. The mana. Once this has all blown over, I hope you'll go on to explore the universe as an academy just like you told me you would. Wait, so was Rin able to see this? Because he, she has the mana with her, so... It is Munenori. There you go. Oh my god. Uh, so it was you, Munenori. This is not what we agreed upon, Professor Tokiomi. As I recall, our funding was con contingent upon you turning all that you discovered in the ancient ruin over to us. But it seems not only did you fail to disclose all your findings, you also wasted a considerable amount of my time. The punishment for breaking a contract with us is death. Now, if you'll excuse us, we'll collect the goddess's legacy and be on our way. Uh, you lot have no idea what you're messing with. You can't let her wake up. If you do, she'll send this universe back to the Stone Age. Come now, is this a joke? You say that as though you haven't kept her awake all this time. No matter, if the legend does turn out to be true, well, that will most certainly... There's more... That is more that will be more gratifying in its own right. Space Shinkagirius has long wished for nothing more than to attain a state of nothingness. But if we cannot reach it now, we should be able to see where it lies once we have reduced the rest of the universe to nothingness. Well, I guess that's a way to go into nothingness, I guess. That's horrible, you'll destroy the whole universe to make up for your deficiencies? Indeed it is. When you get right down to it, this world is nothing more than all of us foisting our own ugly natures upon one another. God. Commander, we found the vessel in question in a hidden basement chamber. Good, carry her carefully. Remember, she will one day surpass me and become our new leader. Huh, <laughs> indeed, she must surpass me. No normal sword would serve to cut the universe in half. Yeah, this was also recorded. I was not expecting to see that, yeah. <sighs> Welcome back. Hope you didn't feel like I was treating you like a maid or something. <laughs> oh, anyway, thanks to you taking care of that for me, I was able to finish turn tuning up Mana's new engine perfectly. Now, we can go after Space Shinkaguri's fortress anytime we like. But first, I need to take care of a little problem in my hometown. You'll help me out with that too, right? Uh, yeah, of course. What, not exciting enough for you? Come on, you can deal with it. It's not like I'll take long. Alright, you are disappointed to find out what really goes on in prestigious school for young ladies? Well, excuse me for not being all frail and dainty. <laughs> um, so hey. Hmm? What's up? Can I ask what your father was like? My father? Where did that come from? Oh, I get it. You got curious about my home life now that you've been in my old house, huh? Well, father's name is Tokiomi and from what I can tell, his prof fellow professors are all thought he was kind of eccentric. He loved fieldwork more than anything and he spent pretty much half of his life exploring old ruins. He was me a meritocrat who with very high standards both for himself and for others and could come off as kind of a hard ass. But deep down he was really just a big softy, a lifelong bachelor who valued peace over profits. Wait, so he knows that she is not his real daughter? Like she's saying a lifelong bachelor, so... Yeah, does that mean you were adopted? Oh yeah, she knows. Nope, I'm Professor Tokimi's once and only daughter, no matter what anyone says. Wait, is this sudden interest because you want to introduce yourself to him? Followed by, say, asking for permission to marry him. <laughs> um, <laughs> really, you wouldn't mind if I did? <laughs> huh? You're serious? You don't talk like you're kidding. Please tell me you're just a really good actor. There you guys are. I was hoping, wondering where you were, taking a break. And what's this? Gazing <laughs> longingly into each other's eyes, are we? <laughs> I smell hanky panky. But I'm afraid it'll have to wait. X just sent a message saying she found the dean's office. 
All right. Damn. I swear, this school is the worst. I'm sure you already realized this yourself. Master, since you helped me out with the decoy stuff, but it turns out all the teachers here have been replaced with machines pretending to be servers. So that's why they seem so off. Gotcha, Miss Jaguar must have been just instinctively noticed that or something. She really is the last bastion of school, I remember. This place is lucky to have her. So does this mean the Dean's a robot too? Like Master Babagan? Is that some kind of a reference? I think so. I can imagine him saying according to my calculations, the only ones who will be called Sabers are those originally belonging to the Saber class. I think that is a reference. Babagan won't even never say something like that. Never mind what he would or wouldn't say, the important thing is that once we get to the Dean's office, we can settle this once and for all. Oh boy. Yep, definitely inhuman. Good day, Mr. Dean. Is now a good time to discuss your educational policies? Oh, it's okay, Ziyang Yu. Very well, you're not on appointment schedule for today, but I've still been expecting you. <laughs> Whoa, they really didn't skimp on the mecha part. <laughs> Student ID XXXXX. Lista, Trent, numerous sub unsubmitted assignments. Noted problem child, but still officially enrolled. I therefore recognize you as one of the students. Good morning. I have no record of summoning you here, so it would seem that this is an unplanned visit. State your business. Well, sir, I have some questions. I was hoping you would answer. Permission to ask questions? Granted. Why did you make such a drastic change to Queen's traditions? I expect what you consider to be traditions are actually customs such as spending one's youth running around aimlessly and expending one's excess energy in the violent athletic competitions commonly known as sports. I exercise those traditions because I deem them to be irrational, detrimental behaviors in keeping with in keeping with this I fired the former faculty of the incurable need to adhere to these unmodeled traditions. Alright then, what about the girls you took away on the some so called summer school program? Where are they? Yeah. Our students agreed to abide by the school's policies when they enrolled. In spite of their agreement to do so, some students have failed to abide by our rules. Specifically, they refuse to wear the saber badges in accordance to our dress code. Oh boy. I therefore determined they require remedial education and compelled them to go to an appropriate training ground. And where is it? We have many such training grounds, so it will take some time to answer the question. As for the curriculum they are studying at the training ground, I have entrusted the matter entirely to the charity organization Space Shinkakuri. Wow, charity organization. I knew it. Space Shinkakuri was behind this. Alright, last question. Are you a member of Space Shinkakuri too? Yes, I am one of the six plays and a gear in the machine that is the instructional institutional education. Great. And the monster sword of overwhelming vitality, I'm Xiang Yu. Student ID, XXX. Ishtar, I have been ordered to capture and transport your companion. As head of the school, I demand that you submit your companion to me in a swift and timely manner. Sorry Dean, that'll just have to become one more assignment I'd never turn in. I'm sorry to hear that, student ID XXX. Ishtar, very well, I hereby suspend you indefinitely for refusing to comply with the team. You will also be turning in 20 page essay on your rule breaking after surrendering the catalyst. Wait, didn't you just suspend me? What? Fine by me, though I'd hate to get expelled for punching the Dean in his stu <laughs> stupid mechanical face. Hold it! That voice, who is that? I heard the whole thing. <laughs> Miss Jaguar! Your faculty ID... Okay, shut up, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Will you shut up already, you overgrown bucket of bolts? <laughs> bucket of bolts? That's a unique insult. I was willing to chalk up your new harsher policies, <laughs> policies to a simple difference of opinion, but how dare you ship my precious candidates off of unreasonably harsh training sessions at some outsider's hands? 
I don't care if the Board of Education gave you a free pass to handle student discipline how you like. Nobody does that to my students and get away with it. So, what I'm trying to say here is, die robot man, die. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Uh. And obviously it's a saber. So... Hmm. All right, here we go. Oh my god, what is this? Triggers. Decrease Buster Card from all enemies of these. Oh, okay. Damn, he was even no invincible. Okay, Buster down, no problem. Let's see. The Dean is down. Oh, wait, we have to again fight? And I guess you can't choose him. Oh boy. No, what? Let me just change this. Alright, let's go. Booyah! <laughs>
all functions shutting down sending final report to headquarters in the ritual at the ancient shrine to succeed us and Pei Shinkaguru will assume control of the servant first I foresaw that having my students change their class to saber would be the best way to ensure their futures oh but I see now that I was being narrow-minded and failed to account for individual freedom I can only conclude that my predictive capabilities had flaws of which I was unaware damn I guess he was just trying to do what he thought he was right. Yeah, true. I certainly didn't care for his plan to turn all servants into sabers, but it's nice to see at least one normal sword fighter among the six blades. True, like <laughs> Billy and then like Anastasia, and now he's at least okay. Hmm, I don't know if I'd call a giant mechanical half man, half horse guy with six arms normal. <laughs> anyway, this ought to get queens back to normal so that uh, little detour is taken care of. Come on, master, we still have a good way to go before we reach Peace Shankagiru's home base. Oh lord, here we go. Now what? As you are all going to die right here, there will be no further need to concern yourself with your trip. Okay, who is this now? Huh? A distortion in space time? The kind of you only see for individual warps? Oh, is this uh, Space Ishtar? Or Ashtar? Get back! Uh, master, something's coming coming this way. Yeah, it is her. How dare you speak about me the way I am not something. I am Ashtar, the 376th leader of the Space Shinkagiru. Remember that, you barbaric bounty hunter. <laughs> so that's the leader of Space Shinkagiru. She really does look like Ishtar. You have it backwards, Gretin. She's the one who looks like me. Go on then, Ishtar. That katana of yours isn't just for show, right? So draw it. Though, so of course... Oh my god, I, can ima I can't imagine you know how to use it seeing how you grew a pathetic backwater school like this. That katana, that's... Oh, it's the one that... That's a space Shinkageru katana that killed father. Oh my god, wait, we start like that? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Commander of the Blade Ashtarth. Damn. Okay. Wow. Gain resistance to all, all attacks. Inflicts not to single enemy. Damage. Okay. So this is another stalling uh, mission. Yeah. Damn. Oh my god, stunning everyone. God. All right. Uh... Okay. Uh...
Oh my god, I was... Oh boy. This is what I was fearing, but anyways. Okay. Oh. Okay, she's alive. Again stunned. Oh boy. Okay, there you go. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Ah, uh, uh, hate to admit it, but I can't hold a candle to her. What a joke! And here I thought you were at least put out a halfway decent fight. But I suppose that's the best my good half can do. Being my evil half, my drive, skill, and training all wildly surpasses yours. I'm frankly embarrassed that you and I are two halves of a whole. Huh? I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Wait, didn't she... Uh, didn't she uh, see the hologram that Tokyomi left her? Like otherwise, why the hell, how the hell could she tell that that was the same sword that killed his dad? Because like in, in the hologram, uh, in, in, not hologram, that, that uh, message, Tokyomi said that you are like, you know, like you're two half, good and a bad. So why is she saying that she have hasn't any idea? I don't even know who the hell you are. What? Wait, so she didn't see that? So how did she recognize the weapon? Oh, don't worry. I'm in the same boat. If I'd known you existed, I'd have ended you ages ago. Oh, oh my god. So no one had any idea. Only one of us can become the primordial goddesses and you better believe it's going to be me. Now then, long time no see, Master of Earth. I commend you for managing to escape Dark Mana. That was very clever of you, thinking you're f on your feet like that. Wait. Yeah, like what? We weren't even given any choices. <laughs> but this adventure of yours ends now. This time I'm going to ensure you become my catalyst. Alright, come along. I'm willing to return you to your own world once I'm done with you. So of course, I can promise I'll be able to return you in the same state you are now. If you're lucky, you won't be sucked so dry people could mistake you for a mummy. Great. Why you? Who do you think you are saying uh, stuff like that with my face? Why do you keep calling Master a catalyst? What are you planning on doing with him? Exactly what I said. The Earthling is going to be a stepping stone I need to reach my true form. Or perhaps I should say our true form since I'm sure some part of you understands just as well as I do. You didn't want to let him go because even you sensed you needed him. It's not like that at all. We just kind of wound up tra traveling together. The masters who once existed in this universe served to summon beings far greater than themselves. Their blood, their soul, their very existence is meant to bring back what was lost. And weak and powerless as he may be, that boy from earth is still a master. His life will be the catalyst that awakens the primordial goddess from her long slumber. Cut the crap, that long shot of it is that you're going to kill him, aren't you? Now that's a bit more like it. Not a bad step in for someone on her last legs. But unfortunately for you, that's the best you can do. Now then, I think uh, now's as good as time as any to reduce my good half to a good quarters, huh? Back up, what did you say master was? Weak and powerless? Uh, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's stuck up arrogant like you. <laughs> Go on, master. Damn, they, <laughs> they're not holding back on the, um, you know, words, especially in this event. How amazing you really are. 
<laughs> you got it. Okay, what should we do? Oh, there. It's the monster. Now take this. I don't think that'll work, will it? Oh, it worked. What just? You really are a master, aren't you? What am I saying? Of course you are. That's the whole reason I brought you here. Whoa, what's happening? Looks like I'm out of time. Right now, cheating the loss of the Shinkage uh, of the Shining Blue Galaxy like this is the best we can do. All right, I'll let you take care of the Catalyst for me just a while longer. Besides, he'll never be able to return to his original world as long as I'm around. Whether the space Shinkageru captures you or whether you make your way to me, it'll all be the same in the end. I just hope you're able to put up a little bit more fight next time. And she's gone. Damn. Who was that girl with the katana? Your little sister or something? Whatever she was, she scared the bee. <laughs> bee Jesus out of me. But anyway, my potential lingering trauma aside, the good news is that this closes the case once and for all. Thank you for all, all for your help, everyone. Now, who is going to go back to the way it was? Or maybe it's gotten rid of the old ways for good. Either way, times change, that's the way it is. All I can do is keep whipping my carrots into shape until they graduate proper servants. That goes for you too, Ishtar. Me? But I just got suspended indefinitely. Even before I assaulted the Dean. That never happened. You're an innocent woman. Plus, I distinctly remember it was Miss Jaguar who dealt the finishing blow. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I can see, still see it now. Booyah. If you ever want to come back, there's always be a seat open for you in my classroom. It's just not the same without the red devil there to liven things up. I could specially use your help whipping the cadets into shape in time for the next exhibition matches with our rival school. <laughs> What's this this time? Does this mean you were a rough and tough, uh, rough and tumble gal even when you went to Queens? <laughs> and here I remember you complaining all the time about how You'd never had to carry anything heavier than gemstones before when you <laughs> first started bounty hunting. It wasn't a big deal, there were just some friendly games. I used to play some of Queen's sports teams like Space Tennis and Space Karuta, that's all. Anyway, thank you for the kind words with Jaguar, I really appreciate that. I can't promise I'll come back soon since there's something I have to do right now, but someday I'd like that. I see. Well, whatever it is, I can see it must be really important to you. Alright then, off with you, 76 Queen Devil. 76 Queen Devil, Red Student Council President, okay. I don't know who you are after or what you're planning to do, but whoever it is, give them Zenjo hell. <laughs> I never would have figured you for the Student Council President. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Okay. The third arrow, let's do it. Okay, Mana's back up and running, so we are nearly ready to infiltrate Space Shinkageru's base. But before that, I thought we should have a little heart to heart since I'm sure you have some questions for me. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering about the connection you have with Ashtar. You and me both, that said, at this point I can kind of piece things together. It seems pretty clear that we're kind of like sisters, never mind that we just met. Anyway, I grew up here and sh she was brought up by the space Shingakiri. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's all there is to it. In a way, this kind of reminds me of um, uh, Sakura and uh, Rin, you know, the whole thing of Sakura going to the Mato and Rin staying with the Tokiomis. And, you know. Like, it's kind of the same in a way, like, like an evil organization, like obviously the Mato, you can't call it an evil organization, but still they were pretty evil. And now, like, you know, like, at, like with Tokiomi, she left a, uh, lived a pretty normal life, just like how Din did. So, yeah. Did you know you were one half of a goddess? Kind of, I've always been able to sense 
a kind of wall between me and everyone else since I was little. I thought I'd be pretty shocked when father confessed to me that I wasn't really his daughter. But I ended up just rolling with it like it happens to someone else when he told me. This is Ista's 14th birthday. I'm home father and more beautiful than ever. <laughs> is that how she <laughs> is that how she all the time comes back home? <laughs> so hey, now that's my 14th birthday and all, what's the big secret you've got to tell me? Wow. Oh my god. Oh this is when it happens. I actually realized it now. Ista, goodness you're okay. Father? What happened? Are you okay? Oh, that's why she knows the weapon. I was like, how the hell did she know which weapon was used to kill his father when she didn't even look at the uh, message that her father left her? Now I know. So she, she never looked at the message. She just like happened upon that place during that time. And that's how she recognized the sword. All right. It makes sense now. Huh? Father, what happened? Are you okay? Please, I need you to calm down and listen to me. I have so much to tell you in so precious little time. The truth is, I'm not your real father. You... You're half of the goddess core I found in an ancient shrine. A core which had been divided into good and evil. Oh. You're not a divine spirit. Servant. You are, in truth, one half of a genuine goddess. Come on, father, don't be ridiculous. You're, well, my father. I'm going to take over you when... Yes, that remains just as true as ever. Even if you are the reincarnation of primordial goddess. As long as you consider me your father, you will always be my daughter. No matter what sort of impenetrable barriers our past, our history may hold. Those aren't for you to worry about. You're my daughter and you're, you have your whole life ahead of you. Fortunately, I don't think the space Shinkageru is going to see it that way. There's no telling what the man who wounded me with his katana would do if he found you. So, you need to leave this planet and hide where he'll never find you. And if the day should come when this universe turns red, I want you to do what you know to be right. For I believe in you and I know you will make the right choice. Oh yes, there's still one more thing I need to tell you. It's been wonderful being your father. Happy birthday, Rin. Come on, father. Wake up. Please open your eyes again, father. Which did she? Did he call her Rin? Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't really matter who I am, right? Father once told me that only thing that determines whether I'm a god or a human is how I feel about it. So yes, I might be one half of a goddess, but I'm also Professor Tokyomi's daughter, a good Ishtar. The important thing is that I'm a pseudo servant who really believes herself to be a real servant. All that said, I'm not about to give up on avenging my father anytime soon. It's the whole reason I learned how to use a katana. Okay. I knew that if I used the same weapon my father's killer did, it, I'd be sure to run into him someday. The main reason I volunteered to be a bodyguard back on Texas Beyond is because the Space Shinkageru were after you. Alright. I figured that if I stuck with you, I'd finally be able to avenge him. And yes, that's still true. But now the most important reason I'm staying with you is because I want to help you get back home. I feel like it's my responsibility. Of course, part of that is because I despite Asta with every fiber of my being and I refuse to let her get her way. And obviously because, like, you know, like, another part of it is most probably because Ashtat is a part of her who brought Ritska here. So, kind of her responsibility as well, I guess, in a way. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, will you continue to travel with me just like we have been? I won't deny that I've been taking advantage of you all this time. Hell, I have every intention of doing so again in the future. <laughs> well, we know that. But even so, will you trust me? Will you protect me until this is all over, Master? Of course. I see. Once again, not a moment's hesitation. Well, I'm glad to see you understand your position so well. You really would be hopeless without me, wouldn't you? <laughs> I don't know why I ever bothered asking. Oh, Istarin, why can't you just say thank you? If you keep that up, you're not going to get the ending you really want, you know? 
Never mind that. Anyway, I trust you and X are good with that too. Of course, I'm not gonna bail now that the final battle is almost here. You're getting a little ahead of yourself, Jane. We still have a long way to go before we <laughs> reach Space Shinkagiru's home base. True. Okay, now that we've gone all, uh, got off all, all of that off our chest, all that's left is to kick Mana into high gear. Come on guys, let's get going. We're off to the Forbidden Zone and the Space Shinkagiru's home base. Training planet what? Cell tent. Oh, it's like okay. Alright, let's just uh no jikan o tormai. Mizukara ho Uchu no Narazumono Gamata Shitori Hakken Sareta Yo. Kyotskete Yukto Ipo Uchu no Narazumono Gamata Shitori Hakken Sareta Yoda. Kyotskete Sono Nanda. Alright. Okay, let's do this. Favors cool. <clears throat> okay, we need an assassin. Wait, this is the first time we're seeing an assassin and a rider. Okay, and then assassin and a rider. Alright. Rider and an assassin. Hmm. Let's just substitute this for Karma for a second there. And... Alright, let's do this. Farewell school of our youth. All right. Kamitaru Farao no Buyu ni sekoshi. Shio yuru. Farao no shin ni yomiru ga yi. Chijou ni atte Farao ni fukano o nasuta. Kamitaru Farao no Buyu ni sekoshi. Okay. No what? Damn. Damn. Look at the damage. All right, uh, this no. <laughs> Dajaku. <laughs> All right, let's go. All 
私は善と悪が合体した究極の私負ける道理がないのだわ Alright, here we go. That's it. Oh my god, here we go. Kaiju comment. Okay, let's complete this and then I'll probably end this video. It's been going for quite a while. Alright, let's choose this. And let's include. Okay, let's go. Demonic Horned Dragon Alistair. Okay. Okay, I found out that there's a few other bounties that came up. Uh which are which I think are the are the more difficult bounties. I completed those other bounties. So I'll probably like do them on camera because those are a little bit difficult. The other bounties were easy. Alright, uh Damn, she, she just took out half of the health. Well, obviously, because she has the PE. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'll probably end this here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'll end this here. This is like a new section. So, that's it guys. So, thank you guys for watching. This was my gameplay video of Saber Wars Part 2. Uh, now, where are we? I think we're almost, not almost, but there's still a few left. Okay, it's like uh, half of my missions are complete and there are still a few days. So I'm, I'm guessing I'll be able to complete this easily with enough time. So like I was kind of like, you know, thinking that whether I'll be able to complete this with enough uh, within the time or not, because I'm recording. But I, I, it seems like, yeah, it won't be a problem. And like the things that I was actually talking about, just a second. Okay, oh, these two I'll do it on my own because I don't think these are difficult. These ones uh, with the faces, I think these are, this will be a little bit diff more difficult. So I'll actually do this on camera, but that's for later on. Uh, let me first complete the main missions. So, yeah. So that's it, guys. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching i think we're halfway uh like you know we've halfway completed the event There's still half more left uh, according to my calculations i think i think so 
so yeah so and i'll be uploading the next part within one or two days so see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day